All right, moving on to the third part of 11.1. Uh, we're going to continue factoring out the greatest common factor, but it's a little, little bit different case here. Um, we're going to factor out a common binomial. And if you look here, um, we have a common binomial. And, and it's kind of a, you learn to, to look at the separation in these problems, but I kind of see this separation because of this, this plus sign right here. And then I see this common binomial of y plus 2. So I'm thinking about pulling that, that y plus 2 out in front of, of this um, polynomial. So I, I pull the y plus 2 out. And if you think about pulling the y plus 2 out, and I, I could draw a line through it here um, and, and here, and what's left over? Well, what's left over is 7y squared and positive 6. So I'll put those in their own parentheses, 7y squared plus 6. Okay, And that's factoring out uh, a common binomial. Okay, so Let's take a look at this one here. Uh, we see the common binomial. Again, I'm focusing in kind of on this subtraction sign and separating this into two pieces here, or two terms. I have this 7x squared, or 2x minus 7 and 2x minus 7. So that's my common binomial. I can write my common binomial out front and then write my leftovers in the back. Okay. Now some students choose to, uh, and it's not wrong, they choose to write their common binomial on the right side and then put the uh, leftover pieces in the front. And if you look there, those are the same thing because of something we learned back in elementary school was we learned that A times B is equal to B times A called the the commutative property of multiplication. So, you know, you could write that either way there. Okay. So now looking at this last one, C here, it's not that hard to spot the common binomial. So we have the common binomial of 3y minus 5. So I'm going to pull that out front and then make a parenthesis for my leftovers. Leftover is x. And then you have to be a little bit careful here, okay? Remembering that there's a, a negative one here. So, you know, what goes in this parenthesis here? A minus one. Okay? And that's factoring out the common binomial, which is going to be very helpful for us on the next uh, part of this where we factor by grouping. You can see that we have four terms that we're going to work on. So we'll look at that next. Thanks.